Um, so it is damn 10 o'clock at night, and today is June the 26th, which is the day my granddaddy died. Like, I'm gonna always remember this day as that, but um. Today, I was really, really, really down. Like, I was really, really depressed. But I've been going through this for a minute now, actually. And I actually, Friday, I texted my best friend of 10 years. And I was like, I think our friendship has ran its course. And I think it is best if we, you know, delete each other's number and, you know, no, we don't talk no more or whatever and my best friend responded with a little message and like my phone don't read so I'm really being an asshole because she could tell I read the message so I read the message and honestly I didn't respond so she waited about 20 to 25 minutes and she sent a longer one and she was like well if this is what you want well, the message basically was asking why. So the longer message was basically saying like, okay, but this is what you want to accept that. She was like, I'm going through a lot right now anyway. And I, I, I really don't, you know, need this right now. And like, I knew that before I even sent the message. So I was like, I'm really being an asshole. But I just feel like I can't give her what she deserves. Like... I try my best to be there for anybody that's in my life. I try my best to be a good person. I try my best to answer the phone. I try my best to pull up to events. Like, I try to be there because I know what it feels like when nobody's there for you. Like, I know what it feels like to plan something or to want to do something. And you ain't got nobody. Like, I turned 21 last year. I was in the bed my whole birthday. Like, I didn't go out. I didn't go get drunk. I didn't hang out. I didn't go to no party. Like, I didn't do any of that. I didn't have anybody to do that with. But then I also have to hold myself accountable for that too. Because I'm from the I'm from the area that I say in. So it's not like I don't have family here. It's not like I don't have cousins here, aunts, uncles, you know. It's not like I don't have people here that I could do stuff with. I don't reach out to them either. So I can't expect people to talk to me and reach out to me when I don't reach out to them. Like, my best friend, she the only person that I honestly hit up first. Like, I call my mom, I call my grandma, but who finna go out? on their 21st with their mom or their grandma, you know? My best friend stay in Atlanta, so it's not like we can actually realistically do things together unless I, A, go up there or she, B, come down here. So it's just like, I don't know. I just felt like I was being a bad friend. Like, these four years that we've been separated, she's been through a lot by herself. And I wasn't there for her. And I found out things after they happened. Like, I should have been there during that. I should have been there before that. You know, I hate for people in my circle to go through things and, you know, I'm left in the unknown. Or, you know, you honestly feel like everything is good because ain't nobody said nothing. You know, you don't even think bad. Or you try not to think bad. Because usually when you think bad, bad happens. But... You know, when you got people in your life and you, you didn't really share your life with them, they know you like the back of their hand, you know them like the back of yours. You know, if something wrong, they're going to hit you up. They're going to be like, man, look, you know, this right here, you know, blah, blah, blah. This right here, was, this what's going on right now. And you know, you're there, you listen, you know, y'all cry together, y'all vent. You know, whatever you got to do, y'all do it together. And you so used to going through stuff together. And I feel like I've missed so much to her life. Like, I missed a lot of her life. I mean, and I'm not saying that because, honestly, we not old. So, I haven't missed a lot. But I feel like I've missed some things. And she went through some things by herself that she didn't have to go through. I mean, vice versa, I did too. 
And I can't be mad at her because sometimes I don't pick up the phone and call her when something going on with me because I know, I feel like I have to separate myself from people when I'm going through my moods or my moments because I feel like you have to be aware of the energies and the spirits that are around you or the ones that you're interacting with. Gans went up 20 cents within the last week. Ooh, anyway. But you have to be aware of that because damn, my gas ain't empty. Oh, that just made me mad. But you have to be aware of the energies that are around you because energy cannot be created nor destroyed. So it's transferred. So I know when I'm in a dark place or I'm in an area where I don't want to be in or I just feel like I need to be by myself. I don't want to talk to nobody because I don't want to bring nobody else down. I don't want nobody else to, to feel how I feel. So I'd rather feel it alone. Like, people ask me, like, why you don't talk to nobody? Why you don't do this? Why you don't do that? Because when you talk to somebody, you putting it on them also. And you could be putting something on them that has nothing to do with them at all. You can be, you know, basically a mood killer. And they didn't deserve that. So, I honestly stay to myself. I don't really bother nobody. Um, and that's just how I feel about it. Like, I don't bother nobody. Um, when something going on with me, I try my best not to speak on it. As far as the public, I'm going to smile and keep it moving. I'm going to ha-ha kiki with you. But, I mean, even if I did open up, it wouldn't be to like just anybody. Now it's certain stuff about me. I say out loud and I don't care. Because in order for you to be the person you need to be. You need to accept who you are and what you've done. You need to be real with yourself. Because if you can't be real with yourself. You can't be real with nobody else. So. There's some things I've done that. I flat out tell somebody I did. Or I tell somebody I used to be that girl. Or I used to think stuff like that was cute. But when it comes to the present me and the stuff that's going on with me now, like in the, in the moment, in the now, I really don't talk about it. I tell y'all that about the girl I used to be or the woman I want to be. But when we talking about this confused person that I am right now, man, I ain't got too much to tell you about me. Honestly, I really don't because I don't even know. I'm confused, my dog. On stuff. I don't even know. I don't know what makes me happy. I don't know what I want out of myself. I don't know what I want to do. I don't know what makes me, you know, what what's going to drive me, what's going to move me. I don't know none of this. I really don't. So, In this current state that I'm in, I'm honestly lost. I don't know. I really don't. And I'm just a, a little lost soul trying to figure it out, honestly. I don't know. But um, if I do post it, um, I appreciate y'all for tuning in. If I don't, it is what it is. Good night.